Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Uh, another warm one out there today. We did crack a couple of records and the high temperatures, the middle and upper 70s. The beaches got in on the action too. 74 Santa Cruz, 75 Capitola, 78 in Scotts Valley. Uh, moving inland a little ways, 77 San Juan Batista. We also had 77 in Wattsville today and Morgan Hill. That was a popular number. All these close to records. Again, some tied, some just underneath. 80 here in Salinas, 84 in King City, so pretty toasty for February. And low to mid 70s on the peninsula before a little fog started to come around. And it was just on the ocean's edge. Still got uh, mid 60s uh, going in Monterey. A little cooler though. We showed you the fog there in Santa Cruz. They're down to 55 and a 64 in Hollister. Still some 70s down in the Salinas Valley. Relative humidities really tell you the story. Look at that. Stands out 88% in Santa Cruz. That's the moist air. That's the fog coming in. Dry everywhere else with about the 35 to 45 percent on the relative humidity. Here's that southerly surge came up around the bay. It's really pretty cool. You can see how it kind of missed down around Monterey, so you didn't see it there. I just got into Pebble Beach and then comes northward and is just kind of getting into Santa Cruz. Just very, very marginally, though. Uh, this is not a huge deck of stratus offshore. It's just right along the coastline here, and you can see how it just came up along the Big Sur coastline. This is something we see a lot in the summertime after we get two or three hot days, and then we get that southerly surge of fog. So a little unusual to see it now. And again, this will continue to move northward, but it will start to thin out as offshore flow takes over later tonight. So I don't expect it to be around much tomorrow. 60s and 70s for you. Uh, right now, uh, still very warm out there across the state. And the only cold front is way up to the north, and we have a huge dome of high pressure right here. So this is not going to really be able to come much further south, at least not for now. We'll see another front hopefully try to make inroads into the Pacific Northwest later in the week. We'll get to that in a second. Just a few rain and snow showers out past uh, Idaho and Montana, uh, but even for them, uh, not a whole lot uh, coming in at this point. Take a look at Futurecast, and you can see we still have our offshore flow here, so things haven't changed much for us yet. But there is a couple of, you know, there's a couple of fronts that are going to try. Nothing certainly for tomorrow. We're talking the weekend when we may see some changes. So here's your front right here, and it's going to start to move down. And eventually by Saturday, because this is still Friday here, we'll start to see it's what we kind of call a backdoor cold front because it's kind of coming from the inland areas. Obviously, that's not bringing us any rain. We would need a front coming in off of the ocean here to do that. So uh, this one will cool us off, but it's not going to bring us any moisture. It's going to bring us a pretty good strong north to northwest wind, though. Uh, come the weekend, so we'll see temperatures drop off quite a bit. Tomorrow, still very warm. It's a mix of 70s and 80s for the entire state. Even Lake Tahoe, 60 degrees tomorrow. Spring skiing, unfortunately, in the middle of the wintertime. Light and variable winds right now. Overnight, we should see the offshore flow pick up a little bit. That's going to basically blow out that fog layer. So we'll say goodbye to that probably uh, by morning, if not by late morning. And then we'll see a little bit of a sea breeze take over tomorrow afternoon. But again, uh, not very strong on your winds. Here's Fog Tracker. Check it out. Again, we saw that southerly surge today. That's going to kind of hover around the bay probably through about midnight. So watch your timing there. And then by the early morning hours, it's pretty much gone. Again, with that easterly breeze just kind of pushing it back out over the open waters. Upper 40s, mid 40s at the coast. We'll see some low 40s for your overnight lows for the valleys and your forecast for tonight. Clear skies, some patchy bay fog. I haven't said that in a long time. 39 to 51, so there's a bit of a range on your overnight lows. Everybody's cool to start, but mild to warm to finish it off. Low 70s to low 80s again. Could break another record or two. We'll see how it plays out. Bay Area even in the mid 70s. You don't see that too often really any time of year up in San Francisco. And you get down into Santa Cruz and Capitola, Aptos, all in the mid-70s, some middle and upper 70s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Watsonville, 77 tomorrow, as well as Morgan Hill, 79 in Gilroy. We'll equal that in Hollister. Salinas Valley, my goodness, mostly 80s tomorrow, 81 to 84 degrees. So, yeah, a couple of records might go by the wayside. Low 70s, middle 70s, Monterey, Seaside, Marina. Beautiful day out at Pebble again, and I'll have that full forecast for you coming up before the end of the broadcast if you're going to be out there for the day because you're going to want to dress in layers. 70s and 80s, your KSBW eight-day forecast. The next three taking into the weekend. Hey, cooler weather finally. 62 to 72 on Saturday, still above average for most of us. Finally getting to about average temperatures on Sunday and Monday with more 50s and 60s, and we'll hold on to that through the middle of next week. Unfortunately, I don't see a lot in the way of raindrops and your overnight lows next couple of nights, 40s and 50s.